In this example, we are introduced to two-way tables. And it's called a two-way table because there's two variables that are used to identify the data. And the variables are broken up in two rows, and rows go back and forth. They're horizontal. And there's a variable that identifies that data. And then there's also columns. They go vertical. And there's a variable that identifies that data. And then the body of the data where the two variables intermingle, intersect. And this is another graphic that we can use to help identify all the different outcomes that may exist between some sort of a scenario. So for this one, it says, suppose a local university football team listed 78 players on its roster. The two-way table lists the number of players in each weight category by school year. From the table, we can determine outcomes such as the number of players on the football team who are freshmen or weigh between 250 and 274 pounds. So we're looking for how many are freshmen or those that weigh between 250 and 274 pounds. So for our rows here, again, those go horizontal back and forth. The variable that identifies them is here's the player's weights. Those are like their identifiers. And you can see we have these different categories, 150 to 174, 175 to 199, 200 to 224, and so on. And then across the top here, we have this variable here. This is the player's school year. And we have uh, freshman, sophomore, junior, and then, of course, senior. So if we want to know how many freshmen there are, well, here's the freshmen here. We could simply just tally them all up. We have three that weigh between 150 and 174, eight between 175 and 199. And of course, if we just go ahead and tally them all up, we got three, eight, four, two, and three, and that comes out to be 20. So I'm just going to pen it in right here. We also want to know those that are between 250 and 274 pounds. And of course, that's this row right here. Two of them are freshmen, one's a sophomore, one's a junior, three are seniors. So there is seven. So we want, we want to know how many on the roster are freshmen or weigh between 250 and 274 pounds. Well, we wouldn't simply just go ahead and add up the freshmen. There's 20 here. And then add them to the 250 to 274 pounders. That's seven here. Because as you notice, if this is the freshman, and this is the 250 to 274 pound players, there's an intersection right here, and it happens right here at this group here. So that means some of the freshmen are 250 to 274 pounds, and some, and some of the 250 and 274 pound players are freshmen. So we would wind up counting this group right here twice. We'd count them once as freshmen, and we'd count them again as 250 to 274 pounds. So we'd have to make sure that we noticed that and take care of that. So we would go ahead and add the 20 freshmen plus the 250 to 274 pound players, but subtract out those that we would wind up counting twice. So that winds up being 25 players. So how many, how, what number of players on the football team are freshmen or weigh between 250 and 274 pounds? 25 players.